I'm not going to act. This is how Mark Bayless describes it. He's exerted, uh, and uh, rightfully so, uh, his executive privilege, and uh, it's not up to me to waive it. And so, uh, you know, it's got me between a rock and a hard space. No one in the West Wing uh, had any knowledge that anything uh, like what happened on January 6th was going to happen. The last part, um, if that's the case, turn over the documents. Let the committee see the documents. If there's no evidence, anybody in the White House knew anything about this. No one, nobody th knew there was going to be violence. Nobody encouraged violence. Nobody incited violence. Why don't you testify? Why don't you turn over the documents? That was my reaction to hearing what he said. Is is if they have nothing to hide, why would they be fighting so hard not to give up the records? I think the question for the courts is: Is executive privilege something that the American government envisions as being indefinite and permanent? You know, it's oh. one thing to say while a president is in office, they can be shielded and have some privacy.